Good morning, it's Monday, first day of summer vacation. This is Elias' breakfast. I have some chicken sausages, strawberries, bananas, and then a little juicy juice for him right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to him and then make my breakfast. So this is my breakfast. I made a turkey bacon, egg and cheese on an Asiago cheese bagel with my water. Um, I'm going heavy on the carbs because I'm gonna work out after this. And I have these bagels because they're delicious and I love them. So I'm just gonna use them up this week and then I'm gonna stop buying them because I know it's not the healthiest choice, but doesn't it look delicious? I'm so excited to eat this right now. workout is done it felt really good to be active today just kind of easing myself back into everything I did weigh myself this morning mm. we're not gonna talk about it <laughs> um, but I did update my app where I'm gonna be tracking my um, my food my water and my workouts so I'll just kind of be logging into there, everything that um, I'm doing so that I can keep track of my progress. And I will eventually work back up to, you know, longer workouts, more intense workouts, get my strength back because I was only using five pound weights. And that's so crazy to me. Like at one point I could chest press 12 pound weights but it's good to just kind of start fresh and start over. Like I'm not trying to compare myself to where I used to be because that did a lot of damage mentally when I was trying to like force myself to get back to where I was and then getting upset about it and all that nonsense. So we're just not gonna do that. We're literally just starting fresh. I'm not like, comparing myself to where I was or what I used to do. I'm just taking this journey from where I am starting, you know, at this point and understanding I'm older now, things have changed, you know, we're just gonna go with the flow and we're gonna build ourselves back up to where we were and even further than that. So right now I'm gonna make some lunch. Um, kind of late it's like 2 30 3 o'clock I slept in because I was up really late um but not worrying about that as long as I'm consistently fueling myself and making healthy choices that's all that matters and I need to do some cleaning I need to make some content and I have a little bit of work that I need to do for um, my business that I'm starting. So, yeah. <laughs> so 
So I'm just gonna have this um, chicken Caesar salad that I made. I just um, fried up some chicken breast with some seasonings. And then I had like the little bag of Caesar salad already in my fridge. So that is what I'm having today for lunch. Yeah, because honestly, I'm not in the mood. Like they are not feeling each other right now at all. I actually want them to talk tonight, but I'm hoping they talk as like how I know them, which is like best friends. Oh, what happened to Jen? Did she say yes? She put us on the group chat. She tests us all. So recap on Real Housewives of New Jersey, the new season. Just watched the episode um, from Sunday. I'm just like waiting because they canceled the reunion and supposedly like the last episode is going to be like major drama, like explosive. And I don't know about you, but I'm finding the season to be really dull, really boring, really basic, like nothing's really happening. And it's just kind of like, bring on the drama. I'm going to kill these flies, all these flies. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't have any windows open and I have not left my house today. So like, where are they coming from? Drive me nuts. <laughs> anyway, so, and I've been seeing a lot of talk on social media that they're getting rid of half of the cast next season. Like, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Do you guys watch the show? Like, do you have like favorites? Because I'm like part of the not so popular group where I like literally don't like Teresa. I don't understand why people like her or think that like she's like okay in the mind. Like she's not. Um, I don't, I don't get it. And then I see a lot of people talking about like Melissa doesn't have a storyline if she's not talking about Teresa. And what storyline is it that Teresa has? Like, she literally does nothing but talk smack about people and then bully people and then try to cause drama to make herself relevant. I mean, are we watching the same show here, guys? Like, I don't, I don't see that. And then, as far as, like, them not, the Gorgas not having, like, a storyline without Teresa, like, even today's episode, right? They had their party, and everybody else brought up Teresa. Everybody else contributed to that scenario ending up being about Teresa. Not Joe, not Melissa, everybody else. So I really don't think that that's fair to say that. Like, I really just don't think that it's them making it about her. It's more or less everybody else. So I just, I don't know. And I don't know if I would watch the show if Melissa wasn't on it, to be honest with you. Now, Margaret, she gotta go. Personally, I don't think that Melissa and Teresa would be in the situation that they're in if Margaret was not on the show. I think that was the worst call that they made when they made her a regular on the show. And it's like she didn't even have like a trial run. You know what I'm saying? Like, most people, they're, like, kind of, like, in the background a little bit. And then they, like, get their spot. Not always. But, like, I feel like that's what they should have done with her. To realize, like, mm, it's not going to work. It's not going to work out. And, I mean, talk about not having a storyline. Like, shh, what does she do? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And, like, the whole thing going on with Jackie is, like, blowing my mind. But I also see, like, there's definitely something more to it that we're not getting the full story. Maybe by the end of the season we will. But, like, it's just... Like, y'all hated each other. Teresa and Jackie hated each other. And now y'all are cool and besties and following each other. Like, taking the pictures. Like, I'm so confused. Like, I get... Like I said, I get Margaret, I get Jackie, like that situation, like I understand why that friendship is no longer. Um, but Melissa, what did Melissa, what, what did she do? I don't, I don't know. 
I don't get it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not following how that all shifted. And like Jackie being friends with Jennifer, just laughable to me <laughs> because like, it's like one day they're friends, the next day they're enemies. And it's just like, that's been their entire relationship. This, this, their whole friendship has been one day we're on one day we're off. It's like the toxic like relationship you can't get out of. Like, I don't know. So if you watch the show and you have thoughts, please don't like come for me about Teresa. Like if you like her, fine. I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise. It's just my opinion. I don't, I don't understand what people find so fascinating about her. Um, yeah. So, and I mean, in all reality, like just putting this out there, we only know the parts of these people that we get shown in the edits. Okay. It's not like we see them, you know, when they're off season or it's just, it's, it's a reality show. So, I mean, they're trying to play a certain narrative and, you know, but I mean, this season's a total flop. Like, if somebody doesn't, like, throw something or, like, flip a table or, like, cut somebody out, like, in the next episode, like, I probably am just going to wait till all the episodes are up before I continue watching because it's boring. It's so boring. There's nothing going on. Miami, can't wait for the next season to come out because they're always doing something. And it's always spicy, it's always hot, it's always entertaining. <laughs> So dinner just got finished and this is what we're having. I put some seasonings together, um, smoked paprika, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, mix that together. Um, and then I put olive oil on the drumstick and then dipped it in the seasonings. And then there's some brown rice there um, with some butter and garlic powder. And then I have broccoli right here. So that's what I'm gonna be having for dinner tonight. All right, so I'm super hungry. Day one, day two, day three, they're all really hard to like readjust and not just eat whatever you want and, you know, cut back on snacking and stuff like that. Probably should have eaten some snacks today, which I didn't. I don't know what you want. You want that? Okay, hold on a second. So I'm going to make myself a healthy dessert and then hopefully that will satisfy me so I don't fall into any temptation. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make. Okay, so this is going to be a healthy cookie dough. I know you can't see me, but whatever. So I'm going to use Vanilla Shakeology. Um, I suppose you could use whatever um, vanilla um, protein shake or whatever that you want. This is full of superfoods. Um, there's all like healthy grade A ingredients in here. That's why that's the one that I choose to use. So you're just gonna add some water. So you don't wanna use a ton of water because you want it to have like a thick consistency. Let's see if you can, okay, there we go. Um, you're gonna want it to be kind of gooey like cookie dough would be so just remember you can always add more but it's going to be hard to take some away you know what i'm saying all right so a little bit more and you just mix it all in until you get the right consistency and all the powder is mixed in with the water so looks good I want to use all natural peanut butter so you're gonna want to use a tablespoon of all natural peanut butter and add that in And stir in the peanut butter until everything's mixed really well. Okay. 
All right, so it should look something like this, okay? And then we're gonna plop it in the freezer. Stick it in the freezer for about seven minutes. All right, so we take it out of the freezer and then we're gonna add our chocolate chips. So the healthiest chocolate chips are the dark chocolate chips. You do you. This is just what I prefer to have the dark chocolate chips. That's what I like. So I think it says like a teaspoon. I'm not gonna make a dirty dish just to measure out chocolate chips, but you mix in your chocolate chips. Finished product will look something like this. Enjoy. So just going to close out the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I ate today, my little chit chat. Um, leave your comments down below about housewives or questions about anything I ate, whatever comments you may have. Um, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to head off to bed, but I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, um, share. Follow me, subscribe, you know, all the stuff. <laughs> and I will do another vlog probably this week, I'm thinking, because it's definitely helping me stay on track. So I'll see you soon.